Hello everyone, welcome to the world of Pokemon. I am Professor Birch. Today we'll be taking a look at the extraordinary species called Eevee. Unlike the vast majority of Pokemon, which usually have two to three forms, this species has seven known species. Eight if you include that one, but no one talks about it. Anyways, how did so many different species come about from one single species? To determine this, we must go way back to the original Eevee species. At the start of the evolutionary cycle, an Eevee was a relatively small and weak creature. It was fairly easy prey for large predators, but during its normal life, huge groups were separated from each other. It's been said that lava flows, earthquakes, and even mass groups of predators moving around may have caused these migrations. Each group ended up in different regions than others, some in forests, some up in ice caps, others hidden caves. It's not quite known why each group decided to stay where they were, but these regions were definitely going to play a huge role in the Eevee's evolution. Let's say one group ended up near an ocean, and for whatever reason, they decided their new food is fish. Now naturally, Eevee aren't good swimmers or divers, but they still try. It's very hard for the first generation, but as time went on, the Eevee got better at swimming, albeit it was still difficult. Many, 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 many generations went by, when all of a sudden, something happened in one of the Eevee's genetic code. A mutation. This Eevee was very different from the others. It was blue in color compared to the brown Eevees, making it easier for it to hide in the water. It also developed fins and a tail built for swimming and diving. All the years of Eevee swimming and training had now been condensed into a single generation and improved. A couple hundred generations later, the entire population was now comprised of this new species, we now call Vaporeon. As it could outcompete the brown Eevees, they easily survived and reproduced. Similar things happened to the other groups that spread out. For example, Eevee in the ice caps developed thickened fur and a special eye protection to protect from the sun glare off of the ice. Eevee in the dark caves developed night vision, and were able to hear and smell much better than their above-ground counterparts. Each of the seven types went through very different conditions, but they all originated from the same ancestral species. We call this adaptive radiation. Thank you for listening to this lesson. I'm Professor Birch, and goodbye.